Hello and welcome back to the Midnight Moose channel. We got another Isaac episode for here today. Now with haptic feedback. Just kidding. We almost got the fun streak under our belts. We got two more to go: a tainted and a non-tainted. And we got regular Maggie as today's character. That's fun. How fun is that? All right, we're gonna have some fun, and we're gonna play some Isaac. Here's the seed for today: GK36 Home Shopping and Network Home. Okay, that's exactly what it is. We can do this. We got some good stuff in here. I hate these guys. But, you know, it's a, we're going to have two great guppy items in the red chests, I think. It's going to be a good start to a, a great run. Look, just die. Cool. All right, there's, there's guppy for you. Got a soul heart. That's definitely something. Pretty cool. For sure. Didn't really want to pick that up early on, but you know, we were in the curse room, so we had to do a Hemolacria. That's always a good pickup, generally. Always generally. And there you go. We'll be launching some blood bombs. It's pretty healthy stuff. Love to see a sacrifice room. We got a full health pill and four red heart containers. Uh oh. There we go. A couple Hemolacrias take that guy out. Everybody else takes just one. I pre. What the hell was that? I don't know, maybe something exploded and hit us. I mean, definitely, it did. And that's totally okay, because it just means our soul heart's blowing. And that's fine, in my opinion. Alright, we got a room full of poops. Luckily, only one of them's mean to us. And here's some friends, even. So that's great, I think, personally. Okay. Well. No, uh, no sacrifice room, but we got a penny. So that's nice. Alright, we got Famine. So this is a true fun streak run. Famine is the first floor boss. I don't know numbers in general, but I'd say Famine has been our boss for now that we've done a few more without Famine. 95% plus of our fun streak uh, runs. And I think that's why it's the key to fun. Famine is just so fun. He's got a great item that I never hate, and it's really cool. As you can tell by my voice. Alright, let's look for our sacrifice room on the burning basement. Two. Here's one. That was easy. Alright. One. That's uh, two. Okay. Three. Four. Five. Now's the angel room teleport. Oh, well. It's not very good, but we'll do it. Angel room item. Or soul heart. Okay, we'll take it. You know, we can uh, use the soul heart for a little bit. Here's the bad news, we got a 100% angel chance and we're already in there, but oh well, I guess, right? We could take red heart damage on purpose to try to not get a deal and get 100% next floor, but that would be tough to do, because I never take damage from monsters, generally. Uh, okay, sensor slowing these guys down, no problem. Sensor, I guess it's fine for the first few floors. But once we get into a big boss fight with lots of shots, it's gonna it's gonna start causing some problems. Unfortunately. I'm not happy about it, it's just the truth. Lots of cash there, don't mind that. But not enough to go in the shop, just yet. Maybe with another key or two and 20 cents. We'll feel pretty comfortable. There's that key. Okay, skipping Hemolacria. What does that do? Okay. Well, it's uh, not too shabby in my opinion. Leave shots all along the ground. I like it, personally. And now we don't have to worry about the lob going over things. I hate when that was convenient. A couple more keys, that's nice. Uh-oh. Send these uh, heat-seeking missiles, basically. I mean, they never miss. They can't, with the 40 shots that come off them anyway. Super Secret could be above that room. Or not, who can say for sure. Right, we're in a bit of a tough situation, but we got out of there no problem. Spawn some of those guys. What's left? One of those guys. He's dead too. Cool. We'll do this. We could blow these up, I think, and get both. That's a good strategy. Or just one is a better strategy. Guess what, Golden Bob? Get wrecked, right? Okay. Okay, cool. You wrecked me right back. Hate to say it, but it's true. Get some pennies for free and take the long way to blow up this one for a crawl space don't mind if I do I'm sure it's got a great item inside of it well it's not a bad item that's for sure 
Hemalacria skipping stone not doing too well on the cross pace just going on the falling out of falling out of the world. Book of the Dead. We'll take Book of the Dead. Yumheart is totally fine, but that's about it. Um, let's investigate. We got red hearts on the floor. Let's investigate the sacrifice room one more time. Let's see if we get money or soul hearts from the tenth or whatever it is payout. Also, where's the secret room? Alright. I think we already checked there because we checked the other room. Okay, we got a curse room. Could be dangerous for sure. We got some cash from the Fool's Gold Rocks. I don't mind a bit of that. Who's, uh, who's still in the room? Oh no, it's over now. Somebody was slowed, I think. I can't see monsters when they're slowed. Uh, oh well, I guess, you know? Okay, this one's the Troll Bomb Wave, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, this is the Angel Wave. Here's what we're going to do. It's a big maneuver. We got hit on purpose. And then we get... Money. Okay. Could have been Soul Hearts. Wasn't. No problem. We're going to have lots of cash. We're going to go in the good old shop. I'm sure we're going to buy something worthwhile. Definitely. And we're going to look for the secret room, which basically has to be right here. As a guess, but I'm glad it worked out. Okay, do a bit of this. We'll collect our money. We can save a key by bombing into the shop. I don't mind doing that. We're not going to blow this guy up, however. Trinket smelter, certainly all well and good. But we don't have any trinkets, so there's that. Uh, we'll walk around. Could go in the curse room, maybe after the uh, boss fight, just to make sure we have enough health. Could be a tough boss. Who knows for sure? Not me. Quarter in here, guaranteed. Well, almost. Okay, super secret. Okay, interesting, interesting. We'll grab some of this. We'll see who the boss is. I'm sure it'll be a simple, non- uh, pin encounter. Okay. Alright, we took damage on purpose to not get the angel deal. So, so we have a 100% deal next floor. I guess it'll be devil, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, and we get a speed up probably. Or a tears up. I don't know. Tears up. Okay. Not too shabby. But we got 53 cents. I guess it doesn't make sense not to pay out this guy. I'd love for him to pay out under 10 just to, you know, so we have a nice Federal Reserve market going on with our cash. But if he takes 20 or 30, then I'll just be sad the rest of my life. So, not huge stakes here, pal. Okay, thanks for another bomb. I think we started with 53, so, okay. Well, the map, it's not too bad. And we got enough red hearts, we can check out the curse room. You know me, I love curse rooms and I love going into them with Maggie, that's for sure. Maybe we'll get some speed down pills, that'd be cool. Okay, or nothing useful. Also an option. Well, we got our health back that we used to get in the room, so I guess I can't complain. Which upsets me greatly. Found both secret rooms, golden bomb, huge help. Quarter in here, that's why it wasn't in the other one. Never mind. And we'll head on down. Pretty quick-ish. First two floors. We got a lot done. Got a few extra items. Pretty nice. We'll have our Book of the Dead popping off soon enough. Definitely. Catacombs 1. Now we don't want to take Red Heart damage. Now we want to find a Soul Heart, find the boss, and kill him without getting hit. Etc. And I think we can do it because we're just that uh, powerful, personally. Get these guys out of here with their slow, explosive shots. Very dangerous. Very dangerous, okay. My guess is we head up from here. Thank you, the map. Okay. Not too bad, we can get three bones. Don't mind if I do, looked like only one to me. Thanks for nothing, probably should have saved it for the L room. Knew it was coming, because we had the map. And we were right next to it, so it would have been revealed either way. That's a misplay. A rare thing on this channel, that's for sure. Not really. 
Uh, angry fly. Okay. You know me, I love some angry fly. He's great. Shop probably up here. We'll check it out. Okay, never mind. I'll just uh, I'll just shut the heck up. Angry fly doing some work. Not to who he's circling, but to whoever his friends are. Okay, angry fly, I get it. Are you happy? There's the shop. Under two rooms left to here for sure. Mini mush. Little speed up action. Next time. All right. Take these out real quick. What? Killed the guy down there. Was it angry fly? I think it was. Or was our extra shots? I really don't know. Take out psychic. Uh, what's his name? Before he starts going crazy. And there's the good old shop as we predicted. Double bombs. It's a pretty good payout. Well, I guess we'll have to buy this. Just booster pack. I, I generally like booster pack. We'll see. Two hearts. Joker card. Fool. Magician. Hierophant. Sounds good. I'll take the Joker card, I suppose. For next floor. If we take red heart damage on this floor, I'll be surprised, shocked, and incredibly upset with myself and, you know, just things in general. That's a good room. Never mind, we got one bone from that, too. Bighorn, he's got a lot of health. He's got a lot of health. That's true. You know what he doesn't have? Uh, angry Fly immunity. Angry Fly hits Bighorn when he's behind him. Thanks to his, uh, you know, character model. Little Horn, what are you... Why? Come on. And there we go. We don't even got to focus on the balls. They're getting destroyed by the extraneous tears. Collateral damage. It's, it's fantastic. Goodbye. Bighorn. We'll take another HP up. That's fantastic. Shot speed. I guess there's nothing wrong with that. We're going to pass in the Devil Deal. I know we got the health. Maybe the next Devil Deal we see. If we see another one. Okay. I mean, I love Trinity Shield, but Sacred Heart's probably a little better than that. Than that. Probably a little bit. And I needed that health up. Okay. Look at that. Let's go up here and start killing some people for sure. Sacred Heart homing tears, aka all the little shots that bounce around and do crap are now homing. So that's pretty cool. And uh, it's great, in fact. Okay, store credit. Sounds good. Shot might be right here. It would have been cool if it was. Tough room, honestly. It's, it's tough to, you know, get on the button. No, not really. Okay. Uh, we don't have to do the arcade, we don't need more cash. We do have to get mini mush to get a speed up. Didn't work out exactly how I planned, but that's alright. There's the item room. Or as I like to call it, the item room. $3 bill, that's great. Tinted rock, don't mind if I do. Another soul heart. Uh oh. I don't know what that was for $3 bill, but when we get that again, I'll be scared. We've got Sacred Heart, Hemalacria. Skipping stone, flat stone. So $3 bill can't ruin anything. Right? I hope not. Alright, take those out. Gotta be a good old secret room right here. And I'm sure it's not there, actually. Good. Alright, we got some good old liquid that doesn't help this room. Was gonna pay that guy out, but won't anymore. For obvious reasons. And uh, that's that. Angry Fly. It's, it's you and me against the world, I guess. And by the world, I just mean my mother's basement. But it's also my basement, I suppose. Definitely. Makes sense. Legally. Okay. Needles? Nothing? Okay. Secret room? Guaranteed. Here? I'll just stop then. Well, there's the shop. And once you stop, you just can't shop. Sure. Broken modem's pretty good. Broken modem with the sensor. Now that's a combination you can talk to me about. Don't talk to me about just good old sensor. Hate it. We'll do this. We'll do tears up. Fantastic. Okay. We'll head up here. A mega maw. Okay. A little damage. A little speed. That's perfect. We already got that room. Should have saved the Joker card. I guess. Whoops. But, you know, it, it paid out. Definitely. I'll check down here for an item room or something of that nature. I'm sure it might exist. It doesn't, and that's okay. Take out some needles. Take out double cash. Thanks, Broken Modem, for doubling the drops this room. 
25% chance. Great item. Alright. Who's here? Needles? Goodbye. Needles be gone. That's what they need to sell on Home Shopping Network. Alright. We can do this room if it's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting enough. Not anymore, but it'll still be a quick room, in my opinion. Not too uh, exerting on our mental and emotional physical capabilities to clear this room for once. All right, we can look over here for the item room next to the very large room. It's very possible to be there for sure. The secret room could be under us, but I've been burned before, so I don't even know if I want to try. And it's the shop, which we'll check out. We still got 31 cents after all. Get this guy before he jumps on us. No problem. Should have used the book in that room. Oh well, we'll use it in here and get one book. Thanks. Whoops. We're on depths one. We could, for once in our lives, uh, do boss rush. And I think it's all because of, say it together, Angry Fly. That's right, Angry Fly. I think he's great. All the time. Alright, double keys. Don't mind if I do. Here's our item room. Just take these guys out real quick with a little help from Angry Fly. And there we go. Okay, another speed up. Two thirds spun, not too shabby. If you get spun on this floor, we're lucky. We only have 23 damage, so that's pretty low. Yeah, definitely. Well, we always, you always got to check the thin rooms, I think, personally. We'll come back for that. Also, there's a chance that uh, this room holds the good old super secret room, which I, I will spend a bomb for. And it's even there, so that's perfect. Never mind. But it's nice to discover it and know that uh, secret rooms exist. Because sometimes I doubt it, personally. Alright, simple room here. Goodbye. We don't need no stinking bomb, right? Emperor card, that's good. Would get us a boss rush, but then we gotta do it. Then again, that would be simple. Don't want that. Uh, these guys definitely, uh, you know, or girls, considering the name of the boss. Uh, we'll take an HP up. What do we got in here? Nothing. I mean, we have no other trinket, so there's nothing wrong with that. So sure. Alright. Bit of a big floor. We gotta look for some things on this floor, for sure, before we go to Mom. Can't use the Emperor card, sadly. That's alright. There's a library, which is very surprising to me, as a person. We'll check it out. Okay, there's two books. That gives us bookworm, because we're already holding a book. That's pretty nice. Alright, let's go up here. We're gonna head left. Okay. Lose perfection in this room? No problem. You know? It happens. We could reroll the library if we want to with this judgment card. We don't necessarily want to do that. So, we won't. But we'll check for an item room. Okay, golden chest could have an item in it. This one didn't, but a soul heart is a lot better than some random items sometimes, personally what I would say. And there goes our high arcing shots. Who knows what's happening? Not me. That's for sure. Black heart? Don't even need it. Totally. So we'll hold on off hold off on it for now. Or hold off on it. On off. Forget it. Anyway, lose perfection in this room, guaranteed, if we already did it. Or not. Arcade, don't need that much cash. We've got 60 cents, and we're hoping we see a shop. So who knows about that? Uh-oh. That was a close one. Okay, we got a luck up and some secret room access. Tower card, pretty good. Pretty good card. That's why we said it. Did we skip this? The fool sc skull? I don't know if we did. I guess we did. Or maybe it was in a room we didn't go to. Let's get Tarot Cloth, right? That'll give us a Teleport card, so we don't gotta go back with a Fool Skull. Emperor, kind of a Teleport card, kind of not. Uh, bomb this guy. We got two minutes. I mean, we're gonna kill Mon in like a hit, probably. So... Don't get caught on the hole on the floor. That's always not good, I would say, personally. Not a Fool Skull. Not a Fool Skull. Right here, maybe? Oh, here it is. Petrified poop, but well, we don't have any other 
trinket because we lost perfection easily. So that's no problem. We got bones galore because they're not falling off. I don't mind a little fool action. We're going to steal from Boss Rush. And you know what? As terrible as this synergy is in... That's lucky, Penny. As terrible as this synergy is in sideways uh, worlds, as we saw in the crawl space, I think I think we should go to the beast. We haven't been there in years, so it's definitely worth it, personally. Get in the room? Okay, yikes. I mean, come on. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? What's going on here? Yikes. I don't even want whatever you're going to drop. Get out of here. Piece of crap. Let's go get the Judgment Reverse card. I think that'll be the most beneficial card to have. Basically ever. And we've got Tower Cloth, so does that mean two machines spawn? That'd be great. Ouch. Sorry, I just hit my headset. Sorry if that came through as noise. Alright, Curse the Unknown. Hate to see it, but we know we have full health, so no worries there. Weird Room. For sure. Okay. I haven't been here in years, frankly. So who knows what's going to happen. We could take damage and lose the whole run. I'd say it's guaranteed, but it's not. It's just very likely. We'll take that. Uh, I mean, we got to check down there for a good old item room. Then again, on the Ascent, we won't have a Curse of the Blind on the second item. So maybe we don't even need to check the item room. We're making flamethrower guys. Those are pretty cool. We're lobbing stuff next to a $3 bill. It's a good time, personally. We only got five keys. We only got... Okay. We don't even need the heart from that. But oh well. What are we looking for? There's the item room. Honestly, we'll come back to it on the Ascent, right? That's our, that's our goal here. Back on the Ascent. Okay, we'll, we'll do a bit of this. Okay, it's done. That was easy. Kill those guys. Kill this guy. No problem. We've got some pills. Pills here. No problem. These guys, no problem. These guys, no problem. Turns out there's no problem here. Shop up here. There we go. Do a bit of this. Don't crush my... Son of a bitch. Alright, compass. No problem. What card is this? Wheel of Fortune. up the heart and a pill. Don't crush my guys. Alright, L room. It's a tough room. L rooms aren't easy. But honestly, this layout's better than some of the L rooms they added to the regular floors with that update a few months ago, so I'll take it. Could be walking past a thousand tinder rocks. I'm not really paying attention. I'll be honest. But we got full health, so that's okay. In my opinion. Great chest here with a bomb in it. Can't say no to that. Alright, bit of a rough room. Luckily we have homing shots. And another fiery guy to bring home. Eventually. It. It's gone. It's gone. Get over it. it. Alright. I'm over it. Let's go to the item room. And go get a good item, I'm sure. Okay, a tears up. Or Rotten Heart? I don't think so. Let's roll both and see. I like Dry Baby. But I think we gotta take Strange Attractor. It's a great item all the time. That's what I always tell people. And it's not true when I say that, but I always tell them. We got Homing and Strange Attractor. They're coming to us, we're coming to them. We didn't even have fire, and, and everybody dies. I think it's a great uh, build and synergy. For sure. Guaranteed. Get this guy out of here. He's walking around like a weirdo. These guys are flying. It's keys. What's up with that? Okay. This is this, everything pointing to greatness here in the beast fight, in my opinion. Everything is looking good. And if the beast disagrees, we just strange attractor her over, and there you go. We've got a moon card that doesn't do much these days. It's no problem. We could find Dry Baby in here, so we don't have to pick him up from the good old item room. No, no Dry Baby, no problem. Don't need... Uh -oh. okay. Great. Great. I don't want to talk about it. 
Let's go up. We've still got that moon card. Here's a good floor for it, I think. And look at that, we get some free stuff. Don't mind that one bit. And then I'm sure we're much closer to the way up. And there's a card to replace our other card. Hangman, that's... Well, um... Can't think of any great uses for it, but, you know, maybe. I wish we had the moon card here. I'd love to get out of this room. But that's alright. We'll get out of here soon enough. We got nice, powerful lobs of shots that bounce. So that's pretty cool. Get these out of here. They're burning alive, thanks to our four, three or four of those guys. That's cool. I didn't listen to Na'vi once about Secret Room, so I'm sorry about that, Na'vi. But, you know, we're, we've got, uh, got a powerful run going. We're going for a world record. Beast skill. I think it's a pretty quick, fast one. Rather than a pretty quick, slow one. Where's the... Okay, there we go. Alright, Basement 2. Not too shabby. Take this thing out. In about a year. No problem. Pretty quick kill, honestly. Uh-oh. Not too shabby. Pretty shabby. Head down. Okay. Got some super lobs for you. The tainted uh, jumper, whatever they're called. Leaper? Who knows? Uh-oh. Alright, that, that could have been tough. There were a lot of uh, crazy things happening. And again, the only reason we're going to the Beast, besides for the fun of it, is because we have Broken Modem. Otherwise, Sensor would get us killed. It still might get us hit, but maybe won't get us killed now. So we have uh, Broken Modem. It's a good item. It's no ladder, but it's pretty good. Take out these Greeds, no problem. Let's see what's over here, these guys, no problem. Get some Mulligan action, for sure. Okay, great chest. Take that. No particular reason. Head down. Thank you, the map. The map has proven invaluable in assisting with our speed, obviously. So I want to thank it for that, personally. Okay, Isaac's head. Honestly, we could use it more than Petrified Boot. I'll take it. That 3.5 damage every uh, 5 seconds or whatever. It comes out to like a damage a second. That's pretty good. Alright, what's in here? couple bombs, not too shabby. We don't need the bed. It's in here. Key, not too useful. Let's see what we get from the good old mom chest. I'm thinking the eye of mom. Okay. Hangman, I guess we can hangman in the dogma fight. Because why not, right? Might be a long dogma fight. You know, we don't have that much firepower, but uh Try to do what we can. Try not to get hit by the brimstone. All our friends are already dead. That's really cool, I think. Alright, there goes sensor. There goes broken modem. No problem. We're going to send some shots this away. Dogma doesn't know what hit it. We did. For its information. And look at that. No, uh, no crazy onion ring attack. Not too shabby. Got hit, but it happens. All right, let's see. Let's see how our shots do in this uh, in this world, right? I'm sure they're great. Never mind. We're gonna have to be above them now. To generate uh, anything. We're we're kind of close to them. Okay. Okay. Totally normal behavior. Yep. Okay. Totally normal. Everybody just relax. Okay. See. Look. Pretty normal. I think. Okay. Uh, broken modem, can you uh, get rid of some of these? There we go. Thanks. We can use the uh, the book. We got a bone. We kill an entire horseman of the apocalypse in his most powerful mode, and we get a one bone for our troubles. Not too shabby. You know, all we gotta do is just be above them. That doesn't ever be a problem for any of them, except maybe death. So, that's cool. <clears throat> the good news is we get another book charge once death's dead, because we'll have uh, two times three charges. So we're going to turn all these flies, war, we're going to turn them all into bones, and the beast isn't going to know what to do. She's going to be stumped. Like a tree. Okay, sensor, you're, you're slow. Okay. And that's why nobody takes sensor. Even with broken modem. I swear to God. That's okay, we'll deal with it. We got fire mine from $3 bill. That's 
Good one, with no downside. It was so good that War went in the lava after. War was like, oh, fire mine, fire lava. Great. Alright, here's Death, everybody's favorite interlude in the music there, at least mine anyway. Pretty fun. Okay, we're just bopping into the sides. Why don't we take contact damage? I don't know exactly. Okay, there we go. Had to test it, for sure. Alright. Don't be followed by all your masks and stuff, pal. We just gotta... Why are we getting spiders? I guess we got parasitoid. No problem. And there you go. Look at that. Look at this guy. He's walking around. We're gonna have the beast here. We can, we can be above her. That's no problem. Just don't drop any bombs. Okay. War stand right there. And I forgot about the rocks. So we can't actually be above her the whole time, but for a little bit. And as long as we're close, I mean, what's the big difference? Nothing, in my opinion. Where's our bone friend? I do believe he's dead. Oh well. Here you go. Can you suck in the shot? That'd be cool. Okay. Totally normal uh, shot pattern here in the fires. Totally normal. Not worried about it. Holy light. Take one of those. And there we go. It's that simple. Now we drop some bombs. She walks into him. She phases herself. Pretty embarrassing. Pretty embarrassing. Take some bombs. Take some of these shots. And we're just going to weave between the rocks. No problem. Good old regular beast fight. Regular shot patterns. And she's dead. And that's regular Maggie. I don't know about you, but I had years of fun in that run alone. Regular Maggie. Boom. Thanks for being so fun. I don't know who we're going to play next, but I'm sure the run won't be 10 hours trying to make one good. Anyway, that'll do it. So leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more Isaac. And that's that. So have a great day. Take care of yourself. Don't sit for a long periods of time. Always get a walk in. There you go. And that's it. See you next time.